Hi, I'm Maka Rai. Today we're in Shibuya. This neighborhood has been undergoing massive redevelopment in recent years and attracting attention as a place that continues to give birth to new trends. It all started in 1885 when a railway was completed to transport silk from Yokohama. From that time, it quickly developed into a major commercial district centered on Shibuya Station. From the 1980s, establishments such as those dealing in fashion and theaters began springing up one after another and Shibuya came to be known as a center for youth fashion and culture. And today, a so-called once-in-a-century massive redevelopment project is being carried out and the entire neighborhood is getting a dramatic facelift. We'll be bringing you the program from this location today. Right now, we're at a place called Rooftop Garden Shibuniwa. It's on the 17th floor of a new office and commercial complex named Shibuya Fukuras, which opened in December of last year. From here, you can see Shibuya Scramble Square and the famous Scramble Crossing intersection. I'm with Yasuhiro Nagao, the senior manager of Tokyo Plaza Shibuya. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'd like to first ask you about what kind of facility Shibuya Fukurasu is. Right now, Shibuya is undergoing what's called a once-in-a-century redevelopment. And as part of Tokyo Land Corporation's project, a facility called Tokyo Plaza Shibuya, which had a history of 48 years, was closed and revived in this building in October of last year. The entire building has a very relaxed atmosphere. What was the concept behind it? The concept was Shibuya that's enjoyable for adults. And that includes food, health, hobbies, beauty, and what's called life planning. This property proposes those concepts, and we have various unique shops inside. Beams is a well-known store, but I understand this is a bit different from others. That's right. Beams offers quality items selected from across Japan. They use carefully chosen Japanese materials and promote Japanese culture. On the 17th and 18th floors, we also have the first Sailor V restaurant in Japan which combines a restaurant and club where adults can relax and have fun. So it's really a place for a mature crowd. Yes. Thank you for today. You're welcome. You're watching Channel Japan. On the first floor of Fukudas is a tourist assistance facility called Shibuya-san. Maki has a look around. question oh so the frequently asked question may be like what to, where to go in Tokyo uh, sometimes we also ask about like where to like have a Shibuya-san has an international staff to help visitors plan their travels and to promote the attractions of Shibuya I'm on the fourth floor of Shibuya of course now and there are a number of shops here focusing on inner body health and anti-aging. This is a traditional medicine boutique that offers a modern twist to traditional medicine to fit the lifestyles of people today. They deal in products based on traditional medicine, such as supplements, tea, and skincare items. They also have staff on hand who you can consult about your specific concerns and give you tips on diet and exercise. They'll also help you find traditional medicine suited to your condition. And here, 
you have a tower of eye drops in the center. This is the Roto Quality Aging Salon. I'm with Ari Ito of Roto Quality Aging Salon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What kind of products do you offer here? Roto Pharmaceuticals provides eye drops, of course, but also cosmetics, supplements, and foods. I see you have all kinds of eye drops. We do. It's not often that you get to see so many different types in one place. Please take a look. In addition to the eye drops, we offer massages called Eye Treat and Inner Care. We believe this is a salon perfect for the lifestyles of adults. So Maki decides to try their Eye Treat service. The neck is where the nerves are concentrated, so loosening it up is effective for the eyes. Feels so good. Thank you. How was it? Do you feel like your vision has become clearer? I think I can see more clearly. Many places were tense, so please come back again. Today we brought you the program from Shibuya, a neighborhood that's being redeveloped and undergoing a massive transformation. It's a place that has something for everyone, so make sure to check it out when you come to Tokyo.